what's up everybody pvpk1 back at you again with another video it's been months since i opened any cards at all again i'm looking this direction the whole time it's just easier for me to watch the screen the cameras are right there but today we have a mystery power box and then we have a new thing i'm probably gonna be start opening on the channel meta zoo I don't know what's in here to open. We're going to get right into the mystery power box. This is a quick little five minute episode. Uh, but yeah, the reason I haven't uploaded in a long time, I've been working a lot. I work third shift, so it's hard to open. Okay, <clears throat> one second. Let me try finding something. Just to poke this open real quick. And I really don't want people to steal these, I can tell. <laughs> Alright. So the mystery power box contains five booster packs and a mystery item. Probably a graded card, probably a coin, probably something. It does have weight to it. <sighs> I'm talking fast because I'm really tired. Honestly. Like, I'm still wearing a work... I'm wearing a, a dirty work shirt. It's not dirty, but it's stained with paint markers. But... Look for chase packs seated 1.10. Okay, that's interesting. So we're going to get right into this. I'm not going to look at what's in the pack. But we're just going to pull some... Oh, I see a... Okay, we got a, a full Evolving Skies booster pack. You guys can probably see more than me. Got another booster pack in here. We got a Vivid Voltage booster pack. They're just tossing them in there like they're garbage. <laughs> Really, a brilliant stars pack. Uh, Darkness ablaze. Okay, that's cool though. <clears throat> we got a Detective Pikachu pack, which is actually really cool. We got a Fusion Strike. Let's just go right into the Fusion Strike. I think it was one of my most anticipated sets in the recent years, and then it just kind of collapsed. I didn't like it. Let's go right into this. We got something. Sligu. We got Kalitzer. We have Vulpix. We have Chansey. We have Galarian Zigzagoon. We have Mankey. We have Claw. What's your name? Clauncher. What the heck is this? We have Reverse Caparaja. One of my favorite Pokemon from Galar. We have a Fusion Strike, Single Strike, Rapid Strike, Deoxys. Hmm. <sighs> but yeah, the channel, if the channel's not dead, I'm going to keep uploading. It's just been, it's just been difficult to upload on the channel. Like, I've been playing Pokemon games still and everything, and I still keep up with everything. Like, Scarlet Violet's coming out. I just am so tired lately. It's just, me being up right now is crazy. Darkness of Blaze, we have Shenotic, we have Ursaring, we have Rose Tower, Rollet, oops, we have Wishy, we have Wishy Washy, we have Koopfant, we have Sinisty, we have Phoebus, we have Rookidy, and we have Staraptor. <sighs> I guarantee these are probably all weighted. 10 out of 10, I would say don't buy these. Can you even, wait, wait, wait. Let me rephrase that. Can you even weigh the packs nowadays? I doubt it. I don't think you can weigh packs anymore, but... Uh, uh, on Top, Ultra Ball, Electabuzz, Badoof, we have Clefairy... Oh, who are you? Oh, Badoof. Oh, it's Badoof and Barry. And Barry. Grimer, we have Execute, it's cool art. Primplup, and we have Al Creamy. Alright, on to the next pack. Like I said, we're just blowing through these just because it was $35 or more. I can't remember now. I bought it like a week. Why is this card messed up? Why is the code card messed up? Either way, I don't think we got anything in this at all. Pincursion. I'm going to speed run it. Yeah, it was just some Metagross. 
and you couldn't even see it on the camera, but Evolving Skies Evolving Skies is probably the biggest one out of all these packs. Mainly because the alt art Rayquaza. We do got a white a uh, white code card though. I don't know why I looked. Uh, Astronaut, Hypno, Glachinder, we have Carnava, we have Dwebble, we have Marie, we have Drowsy, Scracky, I mean Scrapty, Floet, and something doesn't seem right here. Why did I not get a hit on a white code card? Did Evolving Skies skip that? I was checking to see if they just replaced, like opened it. Cold cards right here. We're going to open this Detective Pikachu pack. Uh, oh, I, I ripped it. Really? I actually like this artwork a lot. Alright, we got Detective, Detective Pikachu. We have Morwell, Morwell, Bulbasaur, Jigglypuff. Oh, Greninja. Hey, that's not bad. Do I like Greninja as a Pokemon? No. Why? Showdown, mono teams. I mean, Showdown, uh, what is it, OU or National Decks? Ash Greninja ruins all my teams. Well, now we're going to open this Meta Zoo. Don't know what to expect out of it. I'm just going to rip it right open. Ooh. Wait, I get that card right away. Uh, it's a Dragon of uh, Okanto Falls. It's cool artwork. I like it a lot. I really want this Bigfoot looking guy right here. And the cards just feel thick. Oh, it just... It feels like when you... Holy crap, I made 12 trading cards? This artwork is so cool looking. Oh, we have an explosion. Frost ele Elemental. We have uh, Jerry Rocks. Oh, you can't even see. Okay, there you go. Stone of Prote Protection. Janet and Rostetta Van v Van Der Root. I'm just showing the artwork. That's so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. Skunk Ape. I like I love that. I love that. Uh Hungag. Hungag. Atmospheric jellyfish. It's a hollow. Okay, it's three to the front then. Four to the Okay, so it's four to the front and we get a hollow at the end. I mess with that. I like these a lot. I really like these. These are the packs are a lot easier to open than Pokemon. I'll say that. They don't. It doesn't want to tear. It's like <laughs> what was I gonna say? It's like it's like when you're playing with Poke, like when you're playing with Nerf guns, and then your friend hands you the non-actual Nerf gun, Nerf gun. So it's like you know it's not like the right feel. <sighs> Golden haired girl. Oh, come on. Focus. Golden haired girl. S a snowflake. Chibi's playground. I keep going way too fast. Earth aura. Anti potion potion. Dublin land snake. There, no, it's not him. Mongol monster. I thought I got the little Bigfoot on the cover. Stone of Protection again. Hey, John Henry. The American folklore legend. Uh, Spirit Vile. Restricting Roots. And, oh, this is weird. We got a unicorn, but it's only the unicorn's hollow. Uh, yeah, I definitely like MetaZoo a lot.
let's just say that right now. We are probably going to buy more of these. You'll probably see a whole uh, whole video on just MetaZoo alone. Because uh, this is a really cool set. <laughs> we got Rocky. Uh, in infectious Token. Repelishing Showers. In quotation marks raining. Spirit Aura. Anti Potion Potion. Dublin Lakes. Any doubles we're not going to look at again. Ready the Defender. Looks like a Beetlejuice snake. Uh, Seabill Billy Swamp Monster. Uh, we have Chibi Cumberland Dragon. Weeping Black Angel. We have another Hugag. Oh, wow. That's really cool. And it's an Iowa Dragon. This set's pretty big, 165, but I feel like I can collect that. I feel like that's doable. Hmm. So let me know what you guys really want down below. I'm more than willing to buy MetaZoo again. MetaZoo is... I ain't gonna lie, it's... <laughs> It's more my art style than some of the Pokemon artists they have hired. If you get what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying they're bad artists. I'm just saying this is more my style. Like watercolorish and like the Bigfoots, the unicorns, uh, golems and fairies, demon. I like the mythicals, cryptics. And Pokemon has those. Don't get me wrong. We got like Rapidash and Obama Snow. <laughs> but it's like. MetaZoo is definitely going to be the second on the channel now. And we're never going to buy one of these again. Where are you at? <sighs> I told myself before. We bought this one off Amazon. If you haven't seen the Amazon video, go check it out. We bought and opened this. We got uh, a lady. The card is literally called Lady. That's it. It's like a supporter card or something. Grade 9 from CGC for, out of this. This one we got it. At a uh, Meyer for 35 or 38, this was 50, and neither one they're not worth it, they're more of like the I'm trying to say the experience of opening a mystery box. And for a small YouTube channel, like, extremely small YouTube channel like mine, spending that type of oh, excuse me, <laughs> spending that type of money on a product just to open it, just it's not it's not via, viable it's not a viable way of getting views yeah you can make a title oh, opening two hundred dollars with mystery boxes it's just not sustainable for my channel to buy stuff like this will i buy them again maybe you know if if they go on sale or something which i highly doubt because i mean for 35 you're getting five what is that four five booster packs Booster packs alone, like one of these cost about four, I'll round down, I'll even say 430. So 430, 430, 430, the change alone is a dollar 20 plus 16, so that's 18, roughly like 19. No, I only did four. It's $20 guaranteed already, plus a dollar 50, so $20, $20.50. 20 the Jet to Pikachu pack is like two dollars online three dollars if you get the right the, like high price in my opinion maybe last time i looked it up was like a year ago maybe i don't say maybe a lot because i don't know i don't really know honestly but to pay 35 dollars you might as well just go get these packs by themselves and you don't need a detective pikachu like cards they're not viable i don't think they're viable in the trading card game meta they're just more of like oh this was from a movie the low set number other than that let me know metazoo again a whole episode i'll even buy like five of these five times 36 that's how many cards we'll be getting plus promos or i'll buy two of these maybe maybe i'll probably buy two let me know below i really want to do metazoo i really don't want to do these but i will again if people want to see it so i'm pdpk1 Thank you for checking out my channel again. You know, subscribe, 
like, share, put that little bell icon even though I don't, even though I don't upload about once a month, so you don't have to worry about it ringing too much, who knows, I might upload more in the coming two months, there could be a big change coming in my life that allows me to upload consistently, so stay tuned, like I said, I appreciate all the support, I did see, uh, I'm just rambling. I do this at the end of all my uh, videos because I just, I think all this is off script. I don't script my videos. I'm going to say that right now. All this is off script. I do not script my videos. I just go in. All my pack openings, one video, one shot. I don't like, I don't want you people thinking like, oh, he's rigging it. He doesn't, you know, no. Everything's in one shot, one video, no script. We just go in. I have fun. <sighs> I'm tired. I gotta go. Then PDPK1. Like, subscribe, and share the video if you want. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me. That's my only other social media I promote. But yeah, follow me on TikTok. Follow me on here. Thank you.